Ready? Hi Doug. I bet you're wondering what this dick has done now. Uh, quite a bit, uh, as it goes. Um, I uh, thought that uh, since you've been going through a pretty rough time, and uh, not just because of Liverpool, obviously, um, there's a few um, of your mates and a lot of your friends who have been in touch, and particularly since I did the Tough Mother, I was amazed by quite how many people wanted to give money and, and do something for you. So I came up with an idea. Uh, so I hope you're sitting comfortably. This does go on for quite a bit. Um, and there are some interesting videos involved. Um, some good ones, some bad ones, some mad ones. Um, buckle up for Benny's. Um, and uh, yeah, some pretty interesting some thoughts and lots of love, really, sent for you. So it should be pretty cool to watch. Um, I've got a little special number at the end, uh, so look out for that one. And uh, but without further ado, roll your friends, family and loved ones. Gorgeous man, just sitting here in our first house together, our first flat, the penthouse, 13 the triangle. Um, just give you a quick tour and a reminder of what this looked like before we move into our shiny new home in a week or so. Here we are in the living room and the fireplace with the fairy lights and the sock creatures, the chair that Doug thinks is worth a million, into the kitchen, washing machine's going quite loud as normal. Precious sofa, onwards into the mezzanine level, and Doug's corner, and our little memory heart, and Ellie and Doug forever, your wardrobe with a bit of handy hardware there, onwards into the bedroom. Oh, I broke that lamp the other day, Oops, sorry about that, it just kind of fell off. And the cards that we sent each other over the years. The car outside. And the bathroom. Oh, hi. Love you. <laughs> Look forward to finding you back together, gorgeous man. I love you. Dream team forever. I to do that He's Big Bear Going down the road with the fellas on the back Chicken on his fingers and a blood six pack Drinking in the morning with a little hair of the dog He's sweet as a bird, but it smells like a hog Big Bear, he's iron tough Big Bear's got a chest like a rug Big Bear, he don't take no guff He's Big Bear Coming from behind Big Bear's got a body That they're never gonna find 420 block Gonna take him out of sight Never gonna catch him And you never have to fight Big Bear, he's iron tough Big Bear's got a chest like a rug Big Bear, he don't taste no guff He's Big Bear Oh, Big Bear Big Bear Big Bear Big Bear! Big Bear! Big Bear! Oh, Big Bear, he's iron tough. Big Bear's got a chest like a rug. Big Bear, he don't take no cup, he's Big Bear. So remember if you can when you're going down the road, be careful of the man who pulls a heavy load. He's hotter than the sun and he's cooler than the rain. With a chuckle from below, he's gonna ease your pain. Big Bear, he's iron tough. Big Bear's got a chest like a rug. He don't take no guff, he's Big Bear ha, ha. Big Bear, he's iron tough Big Bear's got a 
chest like a rug. Big Bear, he don't take no guff, he's Big Bear. Big Bear, he's iron tough. Big Bear's got a chest like a rug. Big Bear, he don't take no guff. Big Bear. Come on, give the bear a hug. Okay. Hi, oh, Doug. Here we are outside our house in Derbyshire, much as you remember it, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Good outtake. <laughs> do I look at the camera or do I look at you? Um, look, look at the, the camera. I look at the lens, I do. Okay. Yeah. Just move, move over here. Yeah, 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 stop there, stop there. Ready? Hi, Doug. Here we are outside our house in Derbyshire, much as you remember it, I'm sure. It was great to see you the other week, and we're looking forward to coming down again to check out the new flat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was going all right. Oh, yeah. I got through the different line. Okay. How's my hair, by the way? I had a comb yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Right. Serious. Serious faces now. <laughs> okay. Hi, Doug. Here we are outside our house in Derbyshire. Much as you remember it, I'm sure. We look... oh. I did a tut at the beginning. Yeah. Of the <laughs> Don't worry. That was my fault. I did. A... I opened my mouth. I did. I did an Isabel. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> If, God, if, if this you... is ridiculous. Uh, and what am I saying then? <laughs> football. Sorry? The football. The football, yeah. After that. What's my line? This <laughs> is just not going to happen. <laughs> and, and, and with a bit of luck. With a bit of luck. With a bit of luck. With see, a bit I, need of luck. A bit, I need a bit of luck here. It's not getting hot, I'm going to have to take this coat off in a minute. <laughs> right. Hi Doug, here we are outside our house in Derbyshire. Pretty much as you remember it, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect. No. <laughs> it's alright, right, let's go, let's go. <laughs> as long as the shot's right, let's, let's take it straight away. Hi Doug, here we are outside our house in Derbyshire. Pretty much as you remember it, I'm sure. It was great to see you the other week and we're looking forward to coming down again soon to cast a discerning eye over the new flat. And with a bit of luck we'll be celebrating in his victory at the Euro 2012. As you know we're not great followers of football but we're pretty sure that we'll... <laughs> Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It started to rain. <laughs> Here we are outside the house in Derbyshire, so pretty much as you remember it, I'm sure. Poo here. Surrounded by sheep shit. <laughs> you put this on the thing, you know. <laughs> you're not taping. You're not Please. taping this. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. You're not taping this, are you? No, no. I promise you. <laughs> I don't believe a word of it. I'm enjoying this. I think it's great fun, this. I can get into this film business. <laughs> I've suddenly discovered I enjoy being the centre of attention. <laughs> anyway, right. Be serious now. I'm trying. Okay. Uh, okay, so when you're ready. Right. Okay. How's the fly situation? Okay, good. Right. Fly situation? I, I thought the fly landed on oh, my head. Oh, right, then. okay. Right. Okay. Hi, right, Doug. Here we are at our house in Derbyshire. Pretty much as you remember it, I'm sure. It was great to see you the other week, and we're looking forward to coming down again soon to cast a discerning eye over the new flat. And with a bit of luck, we'll be celebrating England's victory at Euro 2012. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. 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 Okay, don't worry. Come on, England. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I was expecting it to go in the hole, <laughs> but he came really close to me. Close. <laughs> I thought you were doing it. That was a good, good time. <laughs> Just give it a second. Hi Doug, here we are outside our house in Derbyshire, pretty much as you remember it I'm sure. It was great to see you the other week and we're looking forward to coming down again soon to cast a discerning eye over that new flat. And with a bit of luck we'll be celebrating England's victory at Euro 2012. As you know, we're not great followers of football, but we're pretty confident that Bobby Charlton and the boys will do us proud. Anyway, take care, Doug, and we'll see you again soon. Bye! Bye! Bye, Doug. See you soon. Cut. Phoebe? Do you love Doug? Do you love Doug? Oh, hi mate, it's uh, T-Dubs here, just wanted to say hi, and, um, uh, come on, come on, we're doing a message for Doug, come on. Hi Doug, hope oh, you're alright, okay. we love you loads, we'll always be here for you, Mwah. see you soon mate, bye. We love you Doug. Bye. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello mate, it's me, obviously, um, just wanted to say that, um, I know you've obviously been going through some difficult times recently, but you seem to have been coping with such strength, which I think is amazing. Um, well, it doesn't really surprise me. Um, so well done, mate. And uh, in fact, you, you've, you've inspired me to uh, to grow a moustache like you used to have. Uh, Sarah thinks it looks amazing, as I'm sure you can imagine. I never really understood why you did it, but now I do. It, on one hand, I used to think it makes me look like Ned Flanders um, and a bit like a pikey. But now I actually think it makes me look like the guy from The Killers. So, um, well done, man. Thanks for, thanks for the inspiration. Hopefully we'll get to watch some of the football together soon, man. Take it easy. Oh, hi, Doug. I see you, my man. How are you doing all right? Call me doing some practice in the back garden, it's like we used to do around at Ollie's house. Thought I'd better take a bit of practice for our next round of Dream Golf. I really enjoyed the last game we played at West Hill, and I was hoping that by watching this, we might have another dream meeting up on the first of West Hill tonight and play around. Anyway, I better get back to some practice. Yeah, the practice has come along. Remember, I'm not as good as you at chipping, but I'm not bad, especially not in Charlie's Park. Wow, check this out. I love you, man. Getting late, buddy. We better go get the car back home. What do you, we have a few hours. We have until six. I'm sorry. I mean, I know you don't care, but it does mean my ass. You think I don't care? I know you don't care. Oh, that hurts, Cameron. Cameron, what have you seen today? Nothing good. <laughs> nothing good. What do you mean, nothing good? We've seen everything good. We've seen the whole city. Uh -huh. We went to a museum. We saw priceless works of art. We ate, we ate pancreas. But what? What's wrong? Right. Mm -hmm.
breaking the glass and making a team gesture with his hands. Hi Dougie, it's me again man. Nice to see ya. I thought I'd show you the flare pumps and the flare pig and also someone else. I guess it might be a while since you've been in a pub and seen as I live in one and spend more time than probably anyone else including Graham in one. I thought you'd have a quick look around the flare again. Here it is Dougie. Pool table. Is there a ball on there? You'd get it in. If there's anyone that I know who used to be able to get the 20 dinner in the wee sheaf, you'd get it in. Table football? Nah, that's not your game. Let's have a look outside. Oh, who's this? Is this customers? This isn't customers. This is Charlie Bo and Ellie having their lunch. Hi, Charlie. Charlie, what have you got there? Oh, Charlie, have you stolen Doug's beer? <laughs> it's all right, Dougie. It's Beck's alcohol free. I'm not letting you drink your beer, but an alcoholic version, non alcoholic version instead. Say hi to Doug, Charlie. Wave, Doug. Charlie, wave. Wave. <laughs> hi, Dougie. Say hi, Dougie. Uh, say, well, Charlie, Charlie, what does the sheet say? No. Go on, Charlie. What does the sheep say? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can hear a strimmer. Say hello to Dougie, Charlie. <laughs> so, Dougie, I just wanted to see Charlie and see how he's grown into a beautiful little cherub. You see it on Valentine's cards um, around the world. Okay. Nice one, Charlie. You're gonna wave goodbye to Dougie. Hey, bye bye. Say see you soon, dude. Diggy diggy diggy. Mm -hmm. Alright Dougie. Uh Peter here. Uh hope you're well mate. Obviously how he's putting this little D V D together, um, to keep us all entertained. And uh, I was trying to think of some funny things to do but I couldn't think of any. So what I thought I would do instead is put a couple of little short movies together uh, of our shared experiences. Enjoy. Alright Doug, so you can probably tell the continuity isn't the best in the world, but I thought each scene probably needed a little introduction or segue uh, to set the scene. So um, this first one is, is, is happily titled, When Doug Met Pete. Oh. Hello, mate. My name's Peter. I'm from Manchester. Have you been my mate? No, mate. All right, mate. This is my sister Gemma. We've been my mate. Yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, some good acting, some good acting. Second one is uh, simply called the Lynx effect. Are you doing a show for me? Oh, sorry, Doug, I've just got some Lynx. Wow, impressive. Okay, this one is called Tweet! Tweet! Mmm, nice. Okay, finally, 
This is uh, called the Silver Jacket. Love you, bro. Back to me. Gem and Honey, my little puppy. Uh, we were just um, saying, I hope you're okay, um, and let you know that we're thinking of you. Um, and I found this on Facebook, which is me and you at Ellie and Chris's about two years ago. And uh, I'm loving you. Um, you're not so sure, um, but yeah, it was just to say that we're thinking of you. Lots of love. Douglas, hope you're doing as well as can be. It's Walters. Uh, I was going to do this video and talk about your sisters. I was going to talk about the time you flipped my motorbike in the air on full revs, smashed it into the ground, or the time that you got two pair on poker and thought a 10 and a 7 would beat or share the pot with queens and jacks. It wasn't going to be the case. However, I thought I would let you into a little Walters experiment. So you may have remembered the story about when I went to Hungary on Hoggy Stagdu and I smuggled some bullets back in my suitcase. Not the best idea I ever had, but in my drunken state I thought it was a cool idea. When security called me at the Hungary airport, they asked for my passport and a boarding pass, which I gave them as they took me into a small room which had an LCD and a x-ray of my suitcase on the main display. They asked if it was my bag, I said it was. They opened it up, I knew exactly what they were looking for. They were looking for these. They actually found a small bottle opener which had accidentally fallen into my bag at the hotel. And the lady picked it up and said, ah, oh, yes, yes, this is what we've been looking for. As I was in the process of opening my wash bag to give them the said bullets. Anyway, they wrapped up my bag as security cleared and sent me on my way. Happy days. Until I got back to the UK and watched a documentary about this fellow that got found with bullets and got five years in prison. So what I subsequently did was I emptied them, took all the gunpowder out, took the heads off so that they're unarmed, and that's where they are over there. So, this message is to show you a little Walters experiment. Because what am I going to do with a bunch of gunpowder? I'm not just going to throw it away. It's got to be lit. So, uh, I've concocted this over here. So what have we got here, you ask? Okay, so, this here is the gunpowder. And you can see that there's uh, shotgun gunpowder and bullet gunpowder. The bullet gunpowder is the silver. Shotgun's the weird green sort of fertiliser looking thing. I've put a uh, washer in there just for due diligence. I've put a sparkler there to see if this bad boy will light a sparkler. And that there is a Starbucks straw which has got gunpowder in it connected to the fuse which is a bit of paper and uh, a wall plug which is uh, just keeping it at the right height. So I'm going to uh, torch this bad boy, see what happens. I'm going to film it. Cheers. Okay, so moment of truth. Why? Move some shit out of the way. I don't want ruin in case it explodes. 
Get the hell out of here. They talk about never going back to an unlit firework, but I don't know if I should go back to that. Hmm. To be continued. Okay, second attempt. I've mugged off the straw and I'm uh, just going to light a bit of paper. The fuse is lit and it's about to go boom. No turning back this time. Holy shit. Well, it lit the sparkler and nearly torched the roof. Results. So there you have it mate, a day in the life of Walters. Uh, if there are any feds watching, uh, the story about Hungary was a complete fabrication. It never happened. The bullets behind me are fake. The garage stinks of uh, burning paper, uh, sparklers and lit gunpowder. This is what it must have smelt like on Guy Fawkes night. The missus comes in to get anything out of the freezer. I'm dead. Uh, so, all the best mate and I hope to see you soon. <laughs>
Can't wait to see you again. Uh, we should hook up soon. Love you lots as always. Uh, big hugs. See you soon. Bye. Yeah, God, we did have some fucking bloody but but oh fucking hell. Mmm. <laughs> Sushi. Sushi. Uh, Dougie, um, hello, mate. Uh, Graham wanted to record you a little message, but he's um, he's been gone a while, so uh, I think we better go and check on him and see how he's getting on. Um, let's find him. Graham? Nope. Nope. Hmm, maybe in here. Yo! Uh, are you, are you done? Uh, well, a bit annoying, mate. I was, uh, oh, alright. You filming now? Yes. Whilst I was coming to do like a little message for Dougie, and let me just take these out. I always think best on the sunbed, but it's broken. But it's okay, because I also have Dove, a summer glow, nourishing lotion, which is moisturiser with a subtle self-toner, gradually to build a beautiful tan. And so I'm just using that, so just bear with this there, mate, just need to get rid of this last bit there. Ooh, yeah. So anyway, it's alright, Dougie, I've nearly finished uh, your message now, mate, so I'm just going to get, get dressed quickly. Won't be a second. So anyway, so I've written you just a little message. It's a little rhyme. And it goes something like this. Dougie, 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 and your fluffy bunny head supports those right scouse bastards, the ones that play in red. You've always been the greatest at chipping a golf ball and somehow were the cleverest bunny when we were at school. Footballing free kick maestro, some say may be perfect. You're globally loved, young Dougie boy, because you have the Lynx effect. <laughs> See you later, dude. Hi, Doug. After another disappointing season, I've taken the liberty to pick Liverpool's next team. I've quit my job, I've set up this small little office as you can see here, I've studied the form books and I think I now have the winning formula for us to win the Premiership for the first time. My starting 11 alone account for 127 years of wearing the red jersey, 5,351 games played and 1,028 goals. Um, with this 11 you can't lose. Old shaky legs Bruce Grubble are in goal. A back four that's as solid as any you'll see. Stevie Nicholl. Sammy Hippia. Alan Hansen. And John Arnarisa. Now the mighty Jan Mulby is the only man as your holding player there. He'll be able to boom it into the box whenever you ask him to. Out on the flanks I have Steve McManaman and Barnsey. You know that they're always going to be able to get to the, to the line and get, whip the crosses in as soon as you want them to. Stevie G, he's just behind the front two. You know he's going to do well there. And to finish off this winning combination, who else? King Kenny himself, followed by Ian Rush, with over 350 goals. There is no one better. So there it is. For the first time in 20 years, Doug, Liverpool Paul are going to win the league. Enjoy it, mate. You'll never walk alone. Ian Bean a tick, take 15.
Doug. All I had to do was read that. Simple for many. Took me 15 attempts. Ho hum. Hi Doug. Um, just watching England beat Sweden at year 2012. Pretty awesome. Uh, I hope enjoyed it mate. See you soon. It's Jen, Jill's friend from school. Um, a big thanks for um, letting us have um, lots and lots of house parties at your house. And um, although I do think it was a bit unfair that you and Jill thought it was hilarious to make me cry every time you said I love you. Um, anyway, um, last but not least, uh, I think you were the fittest older brother out from all of us, so we all used to fancy you. Bye bye! Hi Doug, it's Lisa here in Sheffield. I've just popped in to give you a quick refresher on your Pictionary skills, because let's face it, we're all out of practice these days. Now, um, the first one is an event, and you have to name the event and tell me what happened. If someone pauses the film... That's right, Doug, this is um, a Pictionary to depict that occasion when we were at an easy party, when we were very little, and your dad threw a golf ball. Not intentionally, but it hit you on the head which ricocheted off and took that big chunk out of um, the doorframe in my parents' living room. You, my friend, remained rather unscathed, unlucky for the doorframe. Um, the second Pictionary, this is called My Personal Childhood Memory. And this is, um, well, you've probably taken a stab at it. But this is chicken nuggets and chips. And whenever I have chicken nuggets, I always remember how we used to sit around the uh, big round table in your house eat chicken nuggets and put tomato ketchup everywhere. Anyway, hope you're keeping up those skills and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Google, do you remember this tree? Do you remember the antics we used to get up to up this tree? Climbing it? I think your pop was about there. Um, collecting those acorns, launching them into the cars that came past with roots, some roofs open, the lot. Also, do you remember putting those cuddly toys in the road and waiting for the cars to stop? Anyway, mate, um, just to let you know, we're all thinking about you. And uh, it will be good to see you soon. Catch up on old times. Take care, mate. Bye bye. Hi, Dad. Just wanted to say hello and let you know how much I'm thinking of you. Um, you're such a wonderful person and um, you're kind, gentle. Funny, good looking, laid back, very laid back in fact, um, lovable and caring and intelligent and you know how to have a good time as well. Um, football, beer, JD, they're all predominant ones to have a good time um, and I think all these lovable traits have um, meant that you've always been very popular with the girls and you've always ended up with lots of friends as girls. Um, but I have to say that it means the world to me that you chose um, to make me your girlfriend and I'm one of the lucky ones that you chose to make, me, make your girlfriend in our early 20s. We've got some very special times that I've been thinking of lots. Um, I've got somebody else that wants to say hello. Okay, we're still in desperate to say hello. And um, so just again, always always thinking of you and love you lots. Hi Douglas! Um I've got loads and loads of memories about you, um, but one of my favourite memories and something I'll never forget is uh, with my first ever pay packet packet from MW's which is now Tesco Express, I think, in Paddock Hill. Um, I bought you a Dire Straits tape because you were burnt in the back of Ollie's car in the sunshine and you were gutted about it. Um, and I'll never forget that. The thing that the, I don't think I bought anything for myself, I just bought that for you. Another memory is, apparently, I tidied up your bedroom, Graham told me the other day, and found 18 bottles of Lynx uh, spray on. I can't remember doing it, but if I did, then I'm a mug, because I think at the time, I think you were sat downstairs just chilling with everyone, and I was tidying up your bedroom. And also, um, between you and Ross, I think you managed to snog all of my friends. Congratulations, I'm very proud of you. Um, but love you very, very much, Doug, and I hope you're better soon. Big kisses, bye. Doug, my name is Mally. My name is Ellen. I've got a big cut on my nose, I'm sorry about that. But we've heard lots about you from my mummy. 
Oh, and we just wanted to say mwah, and mwah. give you big kisses. Lots and lots of love and we hope to get, we get to see you soon and give you big cuddles. Bye Douglas. Bye. Right, action. I'm not having it noted that I've grown that much since school. Take care, Doug. What happened? <laughs> Hello, Douglas, Kate, um, Lindsay here, and Emma and Kate. Um, we were just having tea and cake and thinking about our school days, and I wanted to take this opportunity to introduce you to Penelope. <laughs> Um, Penelope Alice, um, like you said, is the world ready for another Alice? We were um, reminiscing about school days as well, um, although as it turned out we couldn't really reminisce too much because as you may remember we were all quite drunk and uh, so the memories weren't that good. We do know that they were very good however. We've been educating the new generation. This is Daisy, my little girly. Um, I'd just like to say that my thighs generally are this enormous. <laughs> this is the only position we could get the camera to work. And I, I'm not having it noted that I've grown. What would you do if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? Lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song. I will try not to sing out of key. Yeah. Oh baby, how I you I All I need is my body. I say I'm gonna get high. Tell no one say it no more. Gonna get out of that bed. Hi, Doug. Um, this is weird. <laughs> um, I just want to remind you of the time when we, well, you guys came to Magaluf with seven of us girls. God, I don't know what you and Ollie were expecting, but had a fantastic time and. I think my probably best night from that holiday was when we played Snow Angels in the Foam, or Foam Angels, I'm not sure quite what you want to call it. Um, oh, um, I think we got so wet that we actually weren't allowed in the taxi on the way home. I mean, you had to walk all the way back, which was beautiful because we saw the sunset and it was an amazing time. Just want to wish you all well. Wish you all the well. <laughs> Wish you well. <laughs> um, and take care. Hey, Dougie! Hey, Doug! Hello. Um, we were looking at different formats when uh, we were filming this video because we're... Very vain. Very vain. <laughs> and we realised this bright light actually made us look a little bit younger, or certainly myself. Like back in the old days. Yeah, you know, uh, get along gang, Tom and Scope, Pond. Oh, my goodness. Endless amounts of cider and... Merry mixes. Oh, very much. You remember Thunderbird? Oh my God, Thunderbird! Oh, I totally, totally remember Chandran <laughs> on that Thunderbird a few times. Me too. I was actually uh, my Mister Day apparently when Charman 
and I got pushed in the lake, but I would have loved a bit. Were you there? Do you remember when Jill Bratt Spratly got <laughs> shot in the head? <laughs> <laughs> so that's so fun. <laughs> Sorry, what was it? Yeah, that was hilarious. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so bad. Oh. I had stitches. Anyway, Doug, we love, we love you. you. Um, I'm thinking about all the times that we've had, and you know what, well, we we just want to spend, send you a special message. We, that's why we got together, just to say that we're thinking of you. Um, that are, you know, you and I thought you were a really, really great guy. And actually, I think we've even got a bit of a tune. We've got you. a little bit of a tune. Just, I do want to talk about football ever so quickly, though, Doug. You know, obviously, I am an Arsenal fan, and I will always be an Arsenal <laughs> fan. But come on, Liverpool! Come on, you man! See, that works for both that way, doesn't it? Liverpool red. Southampton are red, Arsenal red. Absolutely. We can all be red together. Yeah. Like the heart red. Anyway, we've got a song. Yeah. Okay, ready on three, two, one. We, we love you, Daddy. We do. We love you, Daddy. We do. We love you, Daddy. We do. Oh, Daddy, we love you. Mwah. Send you loads of love and kisses. Take care. Bye. Bye. Oh, Hi, Doug. Long time no see. Uh, just a few memories there from us at college and at various people's 18th birthday parties. Oh, so many good drunken times. Um, and I remember I could always rely on you. I'd turn up at the Wheaty, Caroline would stand me up, and I'd be like, don't worry, Doug will be there. We'd play pool for hours and darts, and I'd watch you play the fruity and lose, like, so much money. Um, and yeah, I still look back on all of those times. Being 18 or 17 um, was, yeah, one of the, definitely the most fun times I've ever had. Um, so thanks for being part of that, um, so take care and big love. Bye! Okay. Um, number one is how witty and funny you are. You've often had me in stitches over email or text or just in person, so that. Um, number two is Stephen Gerrard, you look like him and that's never going to be a bad thing. Three is football, you're obsessed with it and you're an amazing football player. Um, four is just that you're kind and a really, really good listener. Um, five is friendship. Um, everybody loves you, Doug. Um, you've got really, really good school friends and Laura and Alexis and I think you're amazing. And finally, I think of your quick reflexes because you managed to slap me in a pub and nobody noticed. And you also more positively managed to pick me up when I fell over really quickly so nobody noticed. All right, bye-bye. People say she's crazy, she got diamonds on the soles of her shoes. Well, that's one way to lose these walking blues Diamonds on the soles of your shoes She was physically forgotten But then she slipped into my pocket with my car keys She said, you've taken me for granted Because I please you Wearing these diamonds And I could say, ooh Hello Dougie, it's your old mate Danaher. Just a very quick message mate, just to say that we need to get this game of poker sorted out with the lads pretty soon mate. And just because I need to obviously see you playing poker because there's some things in your game that I just love that just cracks me up. One being your terrible reading of the game. Two, me doing you on pocket twos. All in Dougie? Mm, yeah, go on all in Andy. Three, you losing. And four, me taking your money. So come on, buddy, let's get a date in the diary, get the boys round, and let's get it sorted. So I'll hopefully speak to you soon. Take care of yourself, and much love. See you, mate. Hey, Doug, how's it going? Kelvin, 
I uh, thought I'd do my video on the Heatherside purchase uh, just by Ollie Harry's house as you can see um, thought I'd do it here because this is where we spent so many hours training, playing matches, having a great time really uh, so many good memories and uh, there's a couple of memories that really stick out for me and one of them was basically on the main pitches over that way towards your house uh, your old house shall I say um, and you completely mugged me off mate by uh, I think you must have nutmegged me about five times in the space of about five minutes made me look like a complete plank if I'm honest um, anyway I think I owe you a long overdue slap for that mate so here, here it comes ready one two three slap been meaning to do that for a long time mate anyway um, I know it's hard what you're going through at the moment and uh, I wish you all the best and uh, I know it must be difficult but keep your chin up pal all right cheers buddy hello Douglas Ross here aka normal Thought I'd send you a message just to say hello and to see how you're doing and to see if you can finally answer this question. Are you coming camping? Now we established all those years ago that I was going to be bringing with me my radish and dildo. That stays the same, those items will be coming with us because they're the bare essentials. Now I've spoken with Sol K recently as well and Dave actually walked off in a strop. He is going to have to stay at home with his mum and dad because he's still not getting this. Anyway I've brought out the old gear here. A little bit tight around the breast line, and I'm looking a little bit older and a bit more dishevelled. Anyway, Doug, take care of yourself. There's a lot of people around you that think the world of you and love you to bits. Likewise, I had some great memories of school and Camberley Town with you. So take care, keep your chin up, keep smiling, and keep run up that travelator. Cheers, mate. The cool. More, are you here saying? we go. Here we go. Have you ever, are you started? Yeah. <laughs> you have not. <laughs> Ten seconds. Here to represent a chap called Doug. I hear the guy can really munch some rug. Dumb was good, we met. That was our school. You were the one that was always so cool. School was tough, we had to find our range. Mr. Abbott used to watch us change. A dynamo for Heatherside FC. You're much, much better than Stevie G. Dougie, 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 can't you see? Heatherside was just a bit beyond me. Up and down the wing, must have taken his toll. You're still much better than Dave Ingo. Dougie, 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 can't you see? Your graphics have always hypnotized me. And though I can't remember what grade you got I'll never forget Ms. Rushby was hot Then you thought you looked like Val Kilmer I know you always made the girls damn purr Greg and Dave used to act like loons I hope you always remember our moon Pleased to see we haven't changed a bit But I'm sure you really, really don't give a shit But one thing's for sure, you're a hell of a guy And that, my friend, is certainly, certainly no lie, lie. Chubless, Gavillard here. Just a quick message, say we're all thinking of you here at the Taylor Cuss household. Every time I do think of you, I can't help thinking of uh, the time we went walked home from the pub to go and play Guitar Hero. I decided to jump out of a bush, tripped over, cut my knee, cut my chin, cut my nose, and while I was lying on the floor bleeding, you just took one look at me and went, I'm going home, Gav. For you to walk round the corner, trip over, cut your, cut your knee, cut your chin, cut your nose. <laughs> Funny times. Anyway, take care, keep your chins up, see you soon pal. Bye. Does anyone know Douglas? Douglas! Anyone know Douglas? Douglas! Douglas! Lettuce! Hi Doug, Stevie Kimber here. Greetings from Sweden. Hope everything's alright over there and having a go- It's weird that keeps happening here. Anyway, pal, just wanted to send you all my love and all the best wishes and uh, just let you know that we're thinking of you here. 
Um, I saw a TV interview the other day with Kylie Minogue and it brought back a very interesting memory of you in Raven's coat announcing to the entire classroom that were Kylie Minogue to enter that you'd pull your trousers down. Exactly what Kylie Minogue would do with a half-naked nine-year-old and whether that would be legal I'm not entirely sure but thankfully it didn't happen. Take care, have a great evening and always know that you're welcome over here whenever you want to come. Take care Doug, speak to you soon mate. Hi Doug, I'm here to talk to you today about a couple of new projects I've got on the go, one of which is a remake of the film Smokey and the Bandit. Now due to budget street constraints we've had to uh, economise a little bit with the project and the black 18 wheel truck is now going to be a dust cart driven by Pete the dust cart driver who's scheduled for a hemorrhoid operation so as long as that goes well and he doesn't have to sit on a rubber ring should be fine for the role. The Bandit himself will be played by Ahmed, my friend, who's uh, already got a black Fiat Brava and uh, we're going to paint uh, a phoenix on the bonnet to make it look just like the car in the film. Um, now apart from the lazy eye and the lisp, Ahmed does look like a young Burt Reynolds and uh, his mum even has the same facial hair. And finally the Sally Field character is going to be played by a young lady I met in Crawley this weekend who after two uh, hypnol smoothies assured me that her future lies in the film industry and who is very accommodating. Anyway Doug, so I hope you're excited to be involved in this project and I hope to hear from you soon. You stay classy. He's pounded down, loaded up and trucking. Are we going to do what they say? Doug, if you didn't shave this morning for this video, so I'm very sorry. Hello, Diggy. However, you're still a douchebag, Doug. Get all the best, mate. You keep your chin up. Look at that. She's got more chins than a Chinese phone book. Look. Kiss me. Mm. Much love, Doogie. I'm going to pass it on. There we go. Hey Doogie, how you doing man? Um, apparently yeah, me and Dave tell are responsible. Tell him the Blows Twice story. Go on, tell him the Blows Twice story. Twice. Um, yeah, 60 seconds, move on, move on, move on. Here's Kelvin. Hi Dougie, it's Kelvin, uh, West Ham back in the old Premiership. Um, looking forward to the uh, first win up at Anfield since 1964. I'll pass you over to Graham, who's a Chelsea supporter. <laughs> Doug, I think you know me. FA Cup. <laughs> you Liverpool are just wankers. <laughs> hey, Doug. My wife went to the Caribbean. Jamaica? No, she went over around the court. <laughs> boom, boom, hey! Doogie, that's it from us. Doogie, we love you. You take Thank care. Thank you. Bye. Keep fighting the fight. Hi, Doug. Hi, Doug. Hi, Doug. Steve has been teaching us the art of joke-telling for his video. Yes, but his jokes are rubbish. Yeah, but I've got new jokes. OK, let's hear one. How does Frankenstein eat his dinner? I don't know. He bolts it down. Uh. My joke is much better. Yeah? Did you hear the farmer has been plowed in his field using a steamroller? No. Uh, he wanted to grow mash the potatoes. Yeah. You get it. Flatten the potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Doug, what weighs four tons and is bright red? An uh, elephant holding his breath. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, did you know that I have gone back to school? No. What results did you get in your end of term exams? Underwater. What do you mean, underwater? Below sea level. <laughs> hey you, what is the secret of good coffee? Timing. No. <laughs> <laughs> the old ones are the best. Bye Doug. Bye Doug. See you later mate. Hello Doug. Uh, firstly, I just want to talk about the Counting Crows and how country they are. And they've only got one song, you know that anyway, because we've, we've spoken about this a lot of times. 
anyway mate wish you all the best and if there's anything you need just give us a buzz get your old mate ben ben bent bath give us a call love you man when you walk through a storm hold your hand up high and don't be afraid of the dark at the end of a storm there's a golden sky and the sweet silver song of love Through these fields of destruction Baptisms of fire I've witnessed your suffering As the battle reached high
bid you farewell Every man has to die But it's written in the stars In every line in your palm We're fools to make war on our brothers and our Stand up and walk out on me Lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song I will try not to sing out of key yeah. Oh baby, how do you know? All I need is my buddy I say I'm gonna get high Tell no one to say it no more. Gonna get down and I'm afraid. I need to start this one. loads and loads and loads of things that I could say um, but for some of my favourite memories I actually should call I should call him Douglas I was
Oh, well, he's a wonder. 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 He's a